Hello, this is the second language focus video about making predictions as a listening strategy. In this video, we will look at examples of how to use the strategy as you interview a source in English. To continue with the tornado story, let's talk to our eyewitness first. We already prepared questions and made predictions about what the eyewitness will say. Listen to the interviewee and use the list of predicted vocabulary to help you understand. Take notes to record the answers you hear. What did you see? First, the sky got really dark, almost green. I saw a huge black cloud and the tornado came down out of it. The wind was roaring. I've never heard anything so loud. Things were flying around in the air. Cars, horses, parts of buildings. It was really frightening. What were you doing at the time? When the tornado hit, I was getting ready for work. I had already taken a shower and eaten breakfast, and I was washing the dishes. I was listening to the radio, so I heard the alarm from the weather service. I had enough time to look outside, but then I had to take shelter. Hopefully, our predictions helped you understand the answers more easily. To review the first answer, we heard the eyewitness talk about the dark sky, a cloud, the loud sound of the wind, and things flying around. For the second answer, the eyewitness mentioned getting ready for work and breakfast. We heard other things too, but hearing some familiar predicted words means you don't have to work so hard as you listen. Now, Let's ask the government official a few questions using the same strategy. The first question is, where can people go to find help? Here are our predictions. Community center, high school, police station, hospital, and relief, which means help after an emergency. You can also make other predictions in your own notes if you want. Here's the government official's answer. The Red Crescent and Red Cross Society have set up shelters in the area. They are mostly in community centers. Some are also in schools or hospitals. People should check with local officials to find the locations. People will also see emergency relief stations in their neighborhoods. These are tents where people can get food, water, and other relief supplies for free. Also, people will see emergency relief trucks in their neighborhoods. These trucks are also giving supplies to people who need them. The next question is, why does this area have so many tornadoes? Here are some predictions of what we might hear. Weather, geography, air, wind, and movement. Again, if you want, you can make some of your own predictions before you listen. And here's the government official's answer. Unfortunately, tornadoes happen here every year. It's because the geography of the area is mostly flat. So it's very easy for cold, dry air from the north to meet warm, wet air from the south. When these two kinds of weather meet, it can create very strong storms with tornadoes. Hopefully, it was easier to understand the answers after you made predictions. So in this video, we looked at four examples of how to use this strategy when interviewing in English. Good luck with all your future interviews.